My name is Kirk Romines, TB0111 of the Southern California Garrison. I am also the detachment leader for the 501st Pathfinders, and these are my boys. <laughs> and girl. Uh, the 501st Pathfinders are the second largest at over 400 members. That means we have 400 fighter scouts. And the second oldest, we were the second detachment formed in the 501st. Um, we've been doing this since about 2000, or I've been doing this since about 2000. Now, uh, unlike my other panelists here, I require audience participation. You guys are not sleeping on my watch. All right? Uh, I'm going to go in 10 minutes, what well, took me seven years to learn, and I'm going to try to pass some of that info on to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this reference easier by every time I point at you, the audience, I want everyone to yell, bikerscout.net. Because that's where you're going to go to find out more information on this costume. This is a fairly easy costume, but there's a lot of little nitty gritty things that you have to look out and try to find. So let's practice. Bikerscout.net. Perfect. Okay, the armor parts we're going to talk about uh, helmet, armor, soft parts, gloves, boots, and blasters. It's all basically one big package. The helmet. That is the beast of the costume. Um, there are many manufacturers. They are made in ABS. They are made in fiberglass. Uh, they are made of vinyl. Not recommended. Um, and there are reasons why you don't want vinyl. Vinyl works. When it gets hot, it doesn't hold its shape. And uh, the fiberglass got helmets that you see out here, I believe, are uh, fiberglass and ABS. They just look a whole lot better. And, and they fit the... Oh. They fit the costume better. Hard armor components made of ABS or fiberglass. ABS is just a, a plastic, which is formed just like the, uh, the uh, Snowtrooper Commander faceplate. Uh, there are 16 major components of the armor, and it uh, comes in a kit. And it, it's relatively easy to put together if you know what you're doing, if you have any tools. Um, and again, <laughs> That's right. There's, we have resources there to help you get this costume together. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, but these are probably the, the three hardest components of the armor we have ever worked on. They, the details were hard to find. Uh, you know, they were just model kit bashed together back in the day. But over the past seven years, we have finally figured out what these parts were. You have uh, parts of a tie bomber, uh, I still don't know what those two are, and then you have other model components other modeler, from a, a bicycle model, or not a bicycle, but a, a motorcycle model kit that was kit bashed. So we finally figured that out, and those we now have accurate TV and tank details on, on, our, uh, on our scout. As with any costume, especially in the 501st, you need an undersuit. And it just so happens that this is the one component of this suit, after seven years, I still don't know what the original is. Uh, we can't find it. I don't know. Uh, we think it's a motorcycle racing suit, uh, an American-made motor motorcycle racing suit, because the costumes, uh, the other suits are made here. Um, don't know. So if anybody knows, please let me. Uh, so what we do, back up. So what we do is like uh, most of the other costumes, we use a flight suit that can be modified uh, with some sewing to add uh, some, some suede in the crotch and some other pieces, some leg straps. And as my guys are walking around, you will see this stuff on a couple of them. Um, and again, <laughs> try it again with feeling. <laughs> Thank you. Reference images all over the place over there. If you have, if you don't see it, it's, we got it. It's, it's there. Uh, yeah, the other soft armor component is the, I like to call them cummerbunds. Some people call them divers. We don't recommend that when there's a bunch of us around. <laughs> um, uh, and this is a, uh, a completely, you have to know someone to do this, or you have to know somebody that knows how to sew to do this. We currently don't have any patterns on the website, um, because the people who do make these don't want to give up their secrets. Um, but uh, basically, it's a big cloth piece that wraps around the back, Velcro on the back, uh, cummerbund, or the, the crotch piece comes around, underneath between your legs and attach it to the back of the, uh, the soft armor there. Uh, we attach two hard thigh boxes and uh, some folks actually attach that up underneath their uh, under uh, top armor so it doesn't slip down. One thing that really irks me is when you see a scout 
who has his cummerbund and armor, and there's a black spot in the middle. It does, it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be one continuous white flowing from the crotch all the way up to the neck. Uh, and there are ways to modify that to make that happen. Um, and you'll notice that there are two different uh, cloth colors. Uh, we just figured out that uh, we thought maybe the pictures were old or something, but it was actually true. The, the straps that go onto the uh, thigh boxes and the, the patches themselves are of a darker, a darker material. And uh, the scouts, we have one scout that's already made modifications on his pouches, but uh, as we keep going through, this is going to become basically uh, a requirement for a scout in the 501st. Okay, this is an optional part that we just found out about a couple years ago after we took some infrared images of the Magic of the Myth exhibit. Um, there was a vest underneath it. We didn't know. For five years, I never knew there was a vest underneath that. And uh, the only way we found out is when you look underneath the shoulder belts, you will see the ribbings of the, uh, the padded vest underneath. We think that's part of the original the flight or the uh, racing suit, but again, we don't have any concrete evidence of where that's coming from. So, um, for complete accuracy, people are making vests with the, the padded sleeves just to get the effect. Gloves. The real gloves we found were called the Esprit. Um, you can find them on eBay. <laughs> Sometimes you can because geeks like us are looking for them too. And uh, if we find them, they usually don't stay on eBay long. Uh, but there are manufacturers out there that are making replicas. Scout gloves that are they're okay. A little bit of work on them, they'll be fine. Uh, next question. Okay, boots. This is another pet peeve of mine. Get blue boots should be burned in a big pile. If you don't know what get blue boots are, they are plastic. Uh, what do you call those? Then? Work boots. Uh, work boots. They are like uh, galoshes. Uh, those don't look like galoshes. I hate the gimp. Uh, so what we've had, we've had some pretty smart people on where? Bikerscout.net. That's right. That have made a tutorial that we have on the website that you can take about $30 of materials and a pair of boots and make those. And this can be done by anybody who can cut vinyl and buy glue. That's all you need. Um, so visit Bikerscout.net, take a look at the tutorials. Uh, there are, there's one place that you can actually buy Scout boots online, but they're about 140 bucks. But you can build them yourself for a lot cheaper than that, and it doesn't take that long. You can build them in a day. Definitely. Okay, blasters. Uh, each scout should have a blaster in their holster. These blasters are called holdout blasters. Um, they are usually made of resin. Not recommended for costuming. Um, resin breaks. You can't see your ankle. You don't know how far your blaster's out the first couple times you shoot. You smack the table and you just blow a $150 blaster into a bunch of cheap little resin pieces on the ground. There are guys making uh, basically hard rubber blasters, which are great. Comic-Con 2005, walking down the stairs in San Diego, blasters were rolling down the stairs. Woohoo! Went down, picked up, put the blaster, holster, and kept the party. Uh, I really hate to see people lose money on something when they could just if you're going to costume, have the right equipment because resin is not good for costume or for conning, I should say. Next question. We've also taken the, uh, the weapon systems uh, one step further. Uh, these were never, ever, ever, ever seen in the movies. Picture it. These are uh, concept artist carbines, uh, and again, you can see the concept art for the scout. And we've had some guys work on it. They render up this carbine. We allow them to play with them, but they're not canon. Uh, just another cool little tool the scouts can use. And now that the uh, battlefield, what is it? What's that? Star Wars Day? Battlefront. 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 Thank you. Battlefront's out. Uh, the scouts are, known, are horribly wrong. They don't have any knees. If you ever play Battlefront, the scouts have no knees. I don't know where that went. But they're also packing MG34s like uh, sniper shandies over here. Um, it's a sniper rifle. It's a sniper rifle. It's MG34. What? Okay. Next one. Okay. okay, we put it all together and this is what you get. You get one complete biker scout without gimpler boots. <laughs> and all this reference and material can be found at bikerscout.net. Okay, and this is one of our models. Uh, 
Uh, I think he's done a great job on this. So I told him I was still in his pictures off the site and putting them up here for everybody to look at. He said no. I said too bad I'm going to tackle me. <laughs> okay, why do we do this? That's why we do it right there. Kids, that's why I do it. Uh, nothing can make your day wearing this stuff than getting that kind of reaction from somebody who's sick and never going to get out of the hospital. That's why we do this, folks. <laughs> you need more information, where do you go? Bikerscout.net. Thank you very much. Oh, this is one last thing that we're working on. Go back one frame The bark. Bark should be available <laughs> soon. Uh, where are you going to go look for that? Bikerscout.net. We're on barktrooper.net. <laughs> Some form of bikerscout.net. So uh, keep an eye on that. That's being worked on, and it should be, uh, we should see some of those. We try to get them ready for you this time, but other things happen, we just couldn't get it done in time. Thank you, everybody.